In this video clip, I am going to review how to construct a segment congruent to a given segment and an angle congruent to a given angle. If at any point you need to pause this video, uh, feel free to pause. So first, I'm going to go over how to construct a segment congruent to a given segment. So you need to start by drawing a segment on your piece of paper. So I'm going to draw this segment here. And I'm going to label it segment A. B. To draw a segment congruent, we start by drawing a ray. So I'm going to do this right next to it. So I'm going to use, again, my straight edge. I want to draw, keep in mind we're going to be drawing circles. So you want to make sure your circle can fit. So I want my endpoint to start here. Again, it's going to extend in this direction. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to measure the length of AB with the compass and I need to indicate that I measured with this tool, the given segment. So I'm going to take and I'm going to draw circle A. And it's circle A because where my compass point is, A is the letter at the center. Now I'm going to take and transfer this segment over onto the ray. So I'm going to bring my compass point over and I'm going to draw another circle with the same radius. Okay, so if you line up your compass, this width here is the same width as this segment here. So I'm going to bring this off to the side. And if the direction said to construct um, segment CD congruent to AB, then the endpoint that would correspond with the A would be the C. So this would be endpoint C. And the endpoint to correspond with B would B would be D. So the segment that I am just going to highlight it in yellow that I just constructed that was congruent is from here to here. Again, CD congruent to AB. If you would like to construct a segment that's twice the length of a given segment, let's use the eraser tool here. So I want to construct, say, PW so that its length is twice the length of CD. So I need a given segment CD. So I'm not going to open up the ruler tool, but say here's my segment CD. So again, I want to start with array. And I need to measure CD, so I'm put compass point on C, pencil on D. It doesn't matter. You can reverse it. It just matters that the pencil is on one endpoint and your compass point is on the other. So now I'm going to draw the circle over here. Again, giving us that fixed distance or radius. And now I'm going to draw the same circle over here. And just so we don't overlap, I'm going to stop there. Now, the segment that goes from here to here would be congruent to CD. But I need to construct PW so that it's length. So C lines up with P. So this is P. W needs to be on that ray so that the endpoint gives us a length that's twice as long. So I'm going to draw another circle putting my compass point on this end point to make it twice as long. So I'm going to draw another circle. So then W would be right here. And I could keep going and make it 
three times as long, so on and so forth. But to answer this question, twice as long, I would just start on the first endpoint and draw the second circle. So instead of drawing one circle, we draw two. Okay, you can pause. I'm going to erase and start with a given angle. Okay, now to construct an angle congruent to a given angle, I'm going to use the line tool to draw an angle. So I'll have this angle here, give it some arrows, because by definition, the angle is the union of two rays. To draw an angle congruent to a given angle, we need to start with a ray. So I'm going to draw my ray. A ray has one endpoint and extends infinitely in one direction. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this angle over to that ray so that this vertice matches up with this vertice. And this ray is actually going to become this ray. So I'm not going to draw it at the angle in which it's given. So the first thing we do is we start by putting our compass point on the vertex of the angle and we draw a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle and then I'm going to take my compass point and draw the same size circle over on the ray. Okay, and when I do that in the given angle, it gives me these two points of intersection. Those two points give me the width of my angle. Again, from this side to this side of the angle. So I'm going to measure that width using the compass. So I'm going to put the compass point on this point of intersection with a circle in the angle and at this point. Again, this is how wide it is. As we mentioned, I'm sliding this angle over to the ray, and this was the side of the angle that matches up with this side. Okay? So at this point of intersection, that with this circle is right here. So I'm going to take my compass point and bring it over to that point of intersection. But first, I need to show that I measured. Okay, we're always trying to show whoever's grading our paper that we did in fact measure by drawing a circle. And I apologize that it's overlapping. So actually, I won't draw the full circle. I'll start from here and go all the way through to here. So once again, I'm going to bring my compass point over to this point, and I'm going to draw the circle. Through the point of intersection of these two circles is where I draw the ray. So opening up the line tool, I'm going to draw the other ray of the angle, which is here. Okay. Now if I erase everything, all my construction marks, and try to leave the angle, so I'm going to pause and do that. Okay, now I have all my markings, or just about all the markings um, erased, and now I'm going to open up the protractor tool and actually measure these two angles to show that they are indeed congruent. So I want to put this right here at the vertice. I'm going to rotate it down so it's laying flat or close to laying flat with zero. And this looks like it's just going, I draw a line out. I guess I can't draw on the protractor, but it looks to be about here where if I were to extend that ray, it would cross which is 72 degrees. Now if I take the protractor over here, I should get, if I did the construction correct, 72 degrees or something very close 
to that. So I'm going to line it up with zero. Again, since my line is so thick, it's very hard to see. Again, if I follow this ray, this point right here is 72 degrees. So the angles are congruent. Okay? Let's close that. I'm going to erase this all, so if you want to pause it, I'm going to bring up another given angle, and I'll show how to construct an angle twice the size. So here's an angle that I drew. I'm going to construct an angle that's twice the size. So I'm going to start by drawing a ray. Again, for both constructions, you start by drawing a ray. So I'm going to start it here. Again, this vertex, I'm going to slide over to here with this ray matching up with this ray. So using the compass tool, I start by drawing a circle with the compass point on the vertex. And I don't want the circle to go beyond the rays. We said we couldn't clasp, but if we do, we'd have to extend the ray. So since I don't want to get out the tool and extend, I'm going to draw a circle that intersects both the rays, and then I'm going to come over here and draw another circle. Okay? So now I have two congruent circles. The radius is equivalent. We're going to draw our next circle by measuring the width of the angle, so putting the compass point in the pencil here, and I'm going to draw a circle to show that I measured. So I have that radius, I'm going to slide this over to here, and I'm going to draw a circle. Now at this point right here where my pencil is, that point of intersection of the two circles would give me an angle that's congruent. So I want to now put my compass point here, and draw another circle so that the angle is twice as large. So using the line tool, through that point of intersection, I'm going to draw a ray. If I wanted an angle that was three times as large, again, I would put my compass point here, and I would draw yet another circle. And I could make it four times as large, so on and so forth. But we don't want to do that. We wanted an angle twice as large, so here again would be the angle. So this angle, the measure is twice as large as this angle here. And that's it. Thank you for watching.